Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV. Check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Our pricing on this R-Pod is actually so low that Forest River will not allow us to advertise our price. So if you want the best price around, give us a call, shoot us an email, send me a text at 419-770-1515, and I guarantee you I will get you the best price around on this R-Pod. And now we're going to go through the inside of this R-Pod 180. Uh, I'm standing where the side entry door is. Across from me on the driver's side is the slide-out. The slide-out houses the kitchen that area. We have your single basin kitchen sink. Some cabinetry below that. Double burner stove top. Three-way refrigerator, we run on 12 volt, propane, or 110 volt. As the freezer compartment on the top of that. Microwave and convection oven. It's claiming a 50% faster cooking speed versus a traditional microwave oven. We have the large bed in the front of this unit. You can sleep up to three people on this one. Two in this bed, and then two in the dinette that also goes down into a bed. Flat screen TV on a swivel mount there. It is latched to the wall right now in the travel position. You can unlatch it and swing it out so you can face the bed or the rear of the coach. Stereo system by Furion. Speaker select switch. We can play inside, outside, or both on that stereo system. Little two-person dinette. The table is in the down position currently. Raise that table up for the seat eating position. Uh, currently, if we wanted to make the bed, we'd slide the bottom cushions down, put the back, lay the back cushions down, and you can make a small bed there for a single person. We do have the Dometic 13,500 BTU roof-mounted air conditioning unit. Door number one, there's the bathroom. We'll take a look in there in a second. Got some USB charger ports. Thermostat for your heat and air. Control center, turn our water heater on, water pump. Hold each one of these to see how much is in each one of our tanks, as well as our battery condition. This is pre-wired for a GoPower portable solar panel. Door number two back here in the corner is your wardrobe. Got some modular shelving. Uh, if you don't want to hang your clothes, you can raise those up. Use it as some pantry space if you also if you'd like. Nice big bathroom. Uh, really surprised me actually when I first came into this for a smaller trailer. Like this of how much space is in the bathroom. Got a stand-up shower uh, with something new that I have not seen yet. The shower curtain is actually on this upper and lower track. On the track down there as well so it keeps the shower curtain taut uh doesn't keep it from or keeps it from you know blowing in at you or moving in towards you um and this is also a magnetic catch here which will grab there so the shower curtain is not coming open it's held magnetically closed with that magnet there but nice big shower Mirror over top of the bathroom sink. Bathroom stool. Put some of your toiletries in there. We've also got some storage space there, as well as down bottom. Vinyl flooring all the way throughout this unit. Easy to sweep it, easy to keep it clean. Fuses and circuit breaker down there. If you have any questions on this R Pod 180, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. The best little RV dealer around since 1976. All right, we're gonna run around the outside of this R Pod 180. We have our propane tank on the tongue, as well as our coach battery. This one does have the optional external kitchen. 
We've got a two burner cooktop with a little basin here to wash your dishes if you'd like. Right next to that, there's a porch. You can hook up the hose that is included if you want to use that to spray down your dishes. Black tube, sewer hose storage. We do have the front and rear stabilizer jacks. Inside and outside speakers. We have your fuel, fuel powered box awning. That is power, it rolls right out. The legs will drop down from that. The legs you can stake to the ground or you can latch the legs, the feet of the legs into the side right there. Got a couple external outlets. Some nice looking aluminum wheels. Aluminum entry step. Storage compartment on the passenger's rear corner. This does have the Asdell sidewalls. Uh, this whole entire sidewall is a composite material. There's no more gluing fiberglass to wood and the wood routing out behind it. Uh, the Asdell is a completely composite material. No rot, anything like that will happen with this material. This is the 10th anniversary package. Crank down stabilizer jacks on the rear. Spare tire mounted up in the rear of this unit. It is on a little slide hitch. Uh, if you feel a need that you don't want to take the spare tire, that you'd rather take your bicycle rack or anything like that, you can slide this out. Uh, get your bicycle rack, slide it into that receiver right there. Shore power cord. If you're in one of the premium campgrounds that has cable satellite, you can hook that up there. Black tank flush. Black and gray water dumps. Slide out. We do have an exterior shower right there. These two are the vents for the refrigerator. Silver one's a vent for your propane furnace. You'll fill your onboard water tank right here. City water connection. Also got a couple low point drains there. Access and vent for your water heater.